ating pong mga panauhin po na nasa bleachers, pwede na po kayong lumipat dito po sa gitna. Uh, as long as wala pong specific na pangalan yung nakadikit sa, kan sa upuan, pwede nyo po siyang i-occupy. Okay? Sa ating pong mga, mga panauhin na nasa bleachers, pwede po tayong lumipat sa, uh, sa ating pong mga upuan sa baba.
Hello, Lou. Ayan. Uh, once again po, inaanyahan po natin lahat po ng mga nasa bleacher na bumaba na po tayo sa mga upuan na nakahanay po sa gitna. Uh, wag na po tayong umupo sa bleachers. Okay? Uh, sa baba na po tayong lahat, uh, yung pong mga nasa bleachers, once again po, inaanyahan po kayo na dito na po tayo sa gitna. Ayan.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We will be starting our program in a short while. A few reminders before we start our program. Please be reminded that uh, food and eating of food inside the auditorium is strictly prohibited. Okay, and uh, we will be having a raffle after the awarding ceremony. So please stay put. Make sure that you have already submitted your raffle stub at the reception so that your name might be drawn during the raffle. Okay, it is also reminded that the raffle will be an attendance raffle, meaning to say you have to be here for you to win. Okay, so even if your name has been drawn, uh, was drawn during the raffle, okay, and if you're not here at the count of 10, then uh, automatically you forfeit your prize. Right? So once again, it's going to be an attendance raffle. So you have to be here when your name is drawn. Okay? So also, the distribution of uh, our basket will be uh, done after the program. Okay? So you are advised, our guests are advised to stay put after the awarding ceremony so that you can participate in the raffle and then afterwards you can claim your, uh, your food and your basket. Okay, so also, We would like to remind everybody that no food is allowed inside the auditorium. We'll be having a raffle afterwards the program. And please keep your food stub and then of course the food uh, the stubs for the distribution of gift bags. We encourage everyone to please proceed to your proper places. The ceremony will begin in a short while. Maayong hapon. Buenas noches. Gawis ay mas dem. Magandang hapon. Good afternoon. This is the Guru Nation 2022 Awarding Ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, announcing the entrance of the Pillars of Education in the province of Rizal.
Division Superintendent of Rapid Rizal, Dr. Susan D.L. Oribiano. The school's Division Superintendent of Deped Antipolo, Dr. Christopher R. Diaz. President of Antipolo Institute of Technology, Dr. Eileen A. Diansul. The President of Coleo de Montalban, Dr. Alegria R. Basco. The College Administrator of Juan Cainta College, Dr. Victoria C. Naval. The Vice President for Research, Development, Extension and Production of the University of Rizal System, Dr. Marites M. Rio. Academic Affairs of the University of Rizal System, Dr. Alan E. Conde. The President of the University of Rizal System, Dr. Nancy Talavera Pascual. Honorable Wilfredo Robles. The Municipal Mayor of Cardona Rizal, Honorable Bernardo San Juan Jr., to be represented by Vice Mayor Hill Pando. Members of the Coronacion 2022 Board of Judges, Dr. Aurora F. Trinidad. Foundation Incorporated Executive Committee, Vice President and Trustee, Ms. Rosana Maria Luisa Duavit Vasquez. Officer and Trustee, Miss Nelda Rugel. The Municipal Mayor of Binangon and Rizal, Honorable Cesar M. Inares. The 
Governor of the Province of Rizal, Honorable Nina Ricci A. Inares. To represent the former Governor of the Province of Rizal, Honorable Casimiro Ito Inares Jr., please welcome the City Mayor of Antipolo City, Honorable Mayor Casimiro Junjun A. Inares III. The representative of the 1st District of Rizal and the chair of the Gurunasyon Foundation Incorporated, Honorable Michael Jan Jock R. Duavid. Gentlemen, welcome to Gurunasyon 2022, right here in the beautiful stadium of Casimiro Inares Senior Auditorium. With the theme, Malikhaing Pagtugon ng Gurong Rizalenyo sa kasaysayan ng pagsulong sa makabagong panahon. These past two years was not too kind for us, for we were devastated by the COVID-19 pandemic. And in those two years, our education sector suffered a lot. But despite the various challenges, our noble teachers and school administrators never wavered in their commitment to provide quality education to Rizalenos. In the face of the seemingly insurmountable obstacle, which is the pandemic, our brave teachers and school administrators fearlessly face the circumstances like the brave warriors of the old generation. While meticulously shaping the minds of the next generation, like skilled blacksmiths of legends, indeed worthy of being dubbed as mga bayani ng makabagong panahon. Tonight, we shall celebrate and recognize the outstanding individuals in the field of education in the province of Rizal. And this is, of course, sponsored by the Gurunasyon Foundation Incorporated. To start our program, may we request everyone to please rise for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. To be followed by the doxology. Thank you. 
You may now be seated. Oh 
Alhinat hawakan ang aking kamay Sabay abutin natin ang tagumpay Patuloy lang tayo sa pagpapanday Tiwala sa Diyos ang sandat at kabay Subukan natin isulong at ikawan ng magandang bukas Ikaw at ako magkasama tayo sa lubungin na kinabukasan of the Grenachon for the year 2022. Starting with the finalists from Dep Ed Rizal. The finalists for the most outstanding elementary school teacher category, Dep Ed Rizal. Secondary School Teacher Category, Deb Ed Rizal.
most outstanding secondary school principal category, DepEd Rizal. Finalist of the Garunasan 2022 from Dep Ed Antipolo. The finalists for the most outstanding elementary school teacher category, Dep Ed Antipolo. For the most outstanding secondary school teacher category, Dep Ed Antipolo. for the most outstanding secondary school principal category, Dep Ed Antipolo. Welcome our finalist of the Grenadier 2022 
tertiary level category. The finalist for the most outstanding college faculty tertiary level category. awards is already a big honor, one that everyone should aspire for. And at this point, to deliver her welcome remarks, may we call on the URS Vice President for Research, Development, Extension, and Production, Dr. Marites M. Rio. Today is God's way of telling each one of us that we are differently shaped package gifts. Gifts that inspire humanity yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And so, with winsome smile, let me welcome you all to this place and assembly of warm, friendly, loving, and service-oriented people. Welcome to Grenation 2022. To our distinguished guest of honor, Honorable Senator Francis Joseph Cheese Guevara Escudero, Honorable Governor Nina A. Inares of the Province of Rizal, Honorable Mayor Cesar M. Inares of the Municipality of Binangon and Rizal, the host municipality. Honorable Michael John Jack R. Dwabit of the 1st District of Rizal. Former Governor Casimiro Ito Inares, duly represented by Mayor Junjun Inares. President Nancy T. Pascual of the University of Rizal System and overall chairperson of the Grunacion Awards 2022. Dr. Alan E. Conde, Dr. Renato De Limon. Dr. Susana D. L. Oribiana, Dr. Christopher R. Diaz, Mr. Ben Hur B. Baniked, Ms. Judith Duabit Vasquez, the Gurenacion Foundation Incorporated Board of Trustees, respected members of the panel of evaluators and board of judges during the search, honorable mayors from the different municipalities in our province, to the 2022 Technical Working Group, represents representatives from the different educational institutions in the province of Rizal, and to all the finalists and awardees of Gurenacion 2022, isang masaya at pinagpalang araw po sa ating lahat. Finally, the day has come that we have the Gurenacion celebration face to face after almost three years. Gurinashyon is a considerable good book to read as it tells stories of people whose love for learning and whose passion to be of service never ends. 
Yes. And they are whom we know long time ago as teachers. They are our angels who may not have the wings, but they are our heroes who develop wings that our learners may learn to fly and soar high. Grunasyon 2022 with a team, Malikhaing Pagtugon ng Gurong Risalenyo sa kasaysayan ng pagsulong sa makabagong panahon is something that tells us how we teachers brave the challenges of the present time with sustained creativity and desire to continually thrive as noble providers of learning. Conceptualizing, writing, and proposing that theme inspired me more that I am a teacher and I will be a teacher forever. Indeed, Guru Nation is a gift that rings the bell to recognize and thank the champions of the developer of more champions. Tunay na bukod sa tawag ng pangalawang magulang at mga bayani sa likod ng pisara. Tayong mga guro, ang pangakong hindi napapako. Sapagkat anuman ang panahon at sitwasyon, laging may buong pagmamahal, buong kalakasan at buong kahusayan nating pinapatunayan ang ating mga sinumpaang tungkulin. This simply served the reason why Guru Nation Foundation Incorporated has meaningfully framed Guru Nation to evolve and become a delightful avenue by which teachers and school administrators are given recognition. These are also the realities that bridge as the inspiration to be prouder as Gurong Risaleño. Mula sa iyo ang karunungang taglay na is nami sa iyo ay pasalamatan hangad namin itanghal ang husay mo at kadakilaan itatatak sa aming puso ang iyong pagmamahal. To everyone around, thank you for gracing this momentous event. Always be the best version of yourself at all times because you never know who you are inspiring. Once again, welcome to a celebration of happiness and delight. Welcome to Guru Nation 2022. Thank you very much, Dr. Rio. We are very fortunate because we are joined by our esteemed leaders in the province of Rizal. To give these greetings, may we call on the Benevolent Mayor of Binangon and Rizal, Honorable Cesar M. Inares. Napakagaling ng ating nagsalita kanina si Dr. Marites Rio. Hindi na ako nakarinig ng ganun mga uh, presentation niya. Uh, ibig ko lang batiin, uh, muna bago tayo magsimula, bago ako bumati sa inyo, ibig ko lang uh, batiin yung ating uh, stage, yung mga presentation, napakaganda. Kung sino man na nag-asikaso niyan, uh, magaling. Believe na ako sa mga nagpresenta, no? Uh, total awardee ang pinag-uusapan natin ngayon. Uh, ibig ko lang mag-share din sa inyo. Ang bayan ng binangonan din naman ay may award, no? Ang bayan ng binangonan 
ay nagkamit ng seal of good local governments governance. Five consecutive years. No? Out of 1,715 uh, LGUs assessed, uh, 270 plus ang nakapasa lang ang bayan na binungo na isa doon. So, salamat. Salamat sa ano. Kasi award ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon eh. So, pinili natin yung mabibigyan ng award. No? At para din sa ating mga guru, uh, pagkilala sa inyong kagitingan, ang editorium na ito ay laging bukas sa inyo tuwing gusto nyo ng programa. Dito natin gagawin. Huwag lamang madalas, ha? <laughs> oh, sige. Isang magandang araw sa ating lahat. Nais kong ipabot ang aking pagbati sa lahat ng mga guru, administrative heads, members of the education sector, at ganun din sa lahat na kisa sa pagdiriwang na ito. Maraming salamat sa pagkakataon na samahan kayo sa pagbigay ng pagkilala sa mga individual sa education sector at paggabay sa ating mga mag-aaral. Madalas kong nababanggit na mga guru ay kabilang sa mga pinakaimportanting membro ng ating komunidad. Ito ay dahil sila ang nagbibigay ng direksyon at nagsisilbing pangalawang magulang ng mga mag-aaral. Ang learnings at values na mula sa kanila ay nakat nakatutulong upang maging mabuting membro ng pamayanan. Ang isang mag-aaral at ang mga leksyon na itinuturo nila ay nagbubukas ng maraming oportunidad para matupad ang kanilang mga pangarap. Matagal na nating katuwang ang mga guro sa pagtataguyod sa susunod na henerasyon. Ang kanilang kontribusyon sa ating komunidad ay hindi matatawaran. Mula sa pagbabahagi nila sa kaalaman sa mga mag-aaral hanggang sa pagbago nila sa, maram, sa maraming buhay, tunay na ma, napakahalaga nila sa ating pamayanan. Batid ng marami sa ating mga ilan, ang ilang parte ng profesyon, ang pagiging guro, ngunit nakakalimutan ng iba ang sakripisyo ng mga guro para sa kanilang mga mag-aaral. Ang pagtuturo ay hindi isang madaling profesyon sapagkat kinakailangan dito ang matinding dedikasyon. Hindi matatapos ang tungkulin ng isang guro even after the last day, last set of class. Hanggang sa kanilang buhay, hanggang sa kanilang bahay, ay may dala pa rin kanilang silang trabaho at at magsasagawa pa si rin sila ng paghahanda sa kanilang mga susunod na gawain. Dala rin ng pagbabago ng panahon naging mas challenging ang trabaho ng ating mga guru. Sa kabila ng mabigat na hamon ng pagtuturo, maraming individual mula sa ating komunidad ang nagpakita ng husay ng kanilang profesyon. Pinanatili nila ang mataas na kalidad ng edukasyon at patuloy sila sa pagtupad ng kanilang tungkulin nahubugin ang mga mag-aaral. Through this Grunation 2022, may pagkakataon tayo upang ibigay sa kanila ang pasasalamat at pagkilala sa kanilang kontribusyon at sakripisyo para sa ating pamayanan. 
Nakita ko kung paano pinamalas ng mga gurong lisalenyo ang kanilang galing at dedikasyon. Kaya naman nais kong ipaabot ang aking suporta sa lahat ng guro na patuloy na kumakalinga sa mag-aaral. Natatandaan ko pa ang sinabi ng ating late congressman Gilberto Duabit. Sabi niya, education will eradicate poverty. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate ang lahat ng kabilang sa education sector. Your efforts are well appreciated by our community at makakaasa kayo sa patuloy naming pakiisa sa mga programang magpapaulad sa mga paaralan at mga mag-aaral. Moving forward, hiling ko ang maayos na kalusugan ninyong lahat as well as the continued success of everyone. Muli, magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Maraming salamat. Mabuhay ang gurong lisa ninyo and congratulations. Thank you very much, Mayor Cesar Inares. The province of Rizal was truly blessed because we have dedicated individuals who dedicated themselves toward the betterment of our province. To give his greetings, may we call on the Mayor of Antipolo City, Honorable Casimiro Jujun Inares III. Kapwa-kupulingkudbayan sa panguna po ng uh, mga kaibigan natin from the academic sector, lalong-lalo na po ang ating mga finalists and awardees. At uh, gayon din po sa inyong mga mahal sa buhay, sa inyong mga pamilya na narito ngayon. Sa lahat po ng narito sa ating auditorium, magandang-magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Uh, hindi po ang pangalan ko ang nasa official program natin ngayong araw. Uh, base po sa ating official program, ang... Uh, Uh, si Governor Ito yata ang uh, inyong, well, si Governor Ito ang uh, inyong dapat uh, kapiling on this uh, very special occasion. Uh, but just the same, uh, nandito po ako ngayon, uh, June June Inares, ma'am, sir, present. No? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Dalawang dahilan po. Una, tinuruan po kasi ako ng mga teachers ko na maging isang masunuring bata. Ako po ang napag-utusan ni Gob Ito na i-represent siya sa araw na ito. Because I was taught to be obedient to my elders, I am here, glad and honored to be with all of you. Pangalawa, tinuruan po kasi ako ng mga teachers ko na bawal mag-absent. Sabi po nila sa akin, sa school at sa buhay, laging may attendance check. Pag palagi kang absent, No matter how good you are, kahit anong galing mo, out ka pa din. So today, I am here because my teachers taught me the importance of presence. The lessons our teachers taught us have lasting effects on our lives, on the decisions we make, and the actions we take as adults. You have permanent, indelible marks in our character. You don't, you don't uh, just teach us. You shape us. Yun din po ang mensaheng na iparating sa inyo ni Gobi ito sa araw po na ito. On the occasion of the 2022 Guru Nation Awards, he asked me to thank all the teachers present here and all the teachers of Rizal Province for the lasting and timeless lessons in life you impart to many generations of young Rizaleño learners who passed through your caring Nurturing hands. From Gov from Governor Ito, ito po ang kanyang uh, mensahe. If there is one project I have initiated for which I derive so much fulfillment, it is the Gurunasyon. 
Congressman Bibit Duavit and I saw this award. And the event that accompanies it as an opportunity to send a clear message to all that we Rizalenos value education. That education, at uh, nabanggit din po ito ni Mayor Cesar kanina, is the foundation of a society's liberation from poverty. Is that not the very principle espoused by the national hero after which our beloved province has been named? The products of our educational system are the living proof of that principle. We prove that principle right. We would not have done it were it not for the dedication and heroism of the Rizaleño teacher. That is why Bibit and I thought that every year we should crown our most outstanding teachers. Sa ngalan po ni Gobito, binabati ko ang lahat ng mga gurong kokoronahan po natin ngayong araw bilang most outstanding educators ng ating lalawigan. At kasabay po nito ang aking pagbati na rin. Hinilig din po ni Gobito na pasalamatan natin ang mga bumubuo ng Gurunasyon Foundation Incorporated, ang Province of Rizal Educational Development Council, ang TESDA, ang pamunuan po ng URS, at higit sa lahat ang Duavit Family. Dahil sa pagtutulungan po natin, natitiyak natin ang patuloy na pagsasagawa ng guru nasyon at ang pagkaparangal po sa inyo, mga gurong Rizalanyo. Muli, magandang ahapon po sa ating lahat. Thank you very much, Honorable Mayor Junjun Inates. The annual Guru Nation Awarding Ceremony always has been a major event in the province of Rizal. Each year, we are graced with the presence of notable and, and iconic personalities, not only within the province, but from the whole country. And this year is no different, for we have a very renowned and distinguished guest who will deliver this year's keynote speech. And to introduce our keynote speaker and guest of honor, may we call on the president of the University of Rizal System, the home of the Giants, and the host institution of the Garunasyon 2022, Dr. Nancy T. Pasqua. distinguished and highly respected guest of honor and keynote speaker whom I will properly introduce in a while, the governor of the province of Rizal, Honorable Nina Ricci A. Inares, former Governor Casimiro Ito M. Inares, Jr., who will be represented by the mayor of the city of Antipolo, Honorable Casimiro June A. Inares III, the officers and members of the Grunacion Foundation Inc. Executive Committee, the representative of the First District of Rizal, Honorable Congressman Michael John Jack Arduabit and family, Vice President and Trustee Ms. Rosana Maria Luisa Duabit Basquez, Trustee Mr. Jose Miguel Duabit Basquez, Ms. Judith Duabit Basquez, to the mayors of the various municipalities in the province of Rizal, with special distinction to our host, Honorable Mayor Cesar M. Inares, to the honorable members of the final board of judges, to the vice presidents, campus directors, and members of the Administrative and Academic Council of the University of Rizal System, the president of the City of Antipolo Institute of Technology, Ms. Diasun, Colegio de Mantalban, Juan Cainta College, and San Mateo Municipal College. 
to the pre to the TESDA for the provincial director, Mr. Ben Harvey ben Baniked, the school division superintendent of Dep Ed Rizal, Dr. Susan D. L. Oribiano, the schools division superintendent of Dep Ed Antipolo, Dr. Christopher Ardias, to all the officials, administrators, teachers, faculty members and staff coming from the basic, technical, professional, and advanced education levels who are here celebrating the heroism of the teaching profession. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, a glorious evening to all. I particularly use the term glorious in describing the ecstatic and euphoric move that envelops each and every one of us in this majestic venue. This is so because tonight, for the first time, after the global pandemic hit us, we will once again crown a new set of extraordinary, highly distinguished, and excellent teachers in the basic education, technical, and tertiary levels on a face-to-face -face basis. Our team, malikhain pagtugon ng gurong risaleño sa kasaysayan ng pagsulong sa makabagong panahon, exemplifies the journey that our teachers took for the past two years battling the risks and perils of the pandemic. Braving the threat of viral infection and pressing on with the high call of continuously delivering quality education amidst all of these adversities. Tonight, we recognize their creativity in finding ways in which they could continuous, continuously transfer knowledge to their learners and allow them to go beyond the level of knowing to the level of solving, applying, and creating. They have decorated the heroic narrative of the modern times with their everyday struggles along with their doubts and fears and eventually find ways to which they could serve the public despite all of this. They have embraced technology as a means of teaching while formulating combined contemporary and traditional approaches in assessing learning. We heard many sad and dark stories about teachers, and yet those were no match to the thousands or millions of happy and inspiring stories that our teachers had been part of in shaping the lives of their students. And these inspiring stories are the ones we share and celebrate through the conduct of the annual Guru Nation Awards. The Guru Nation Awards, or as our founder, the late Congressman Gilberto Bibet M. Duabit Sr. said, is about the crowning of teachers, coronacion ng mga guro, pagbibigay pugay, pagkilala, at pagkatanghal sa mga natataring, natatanging guro sa probinsya ng Rizal. Of all the many advocacies that our beloved Congressman Bibit have pursued, it is, it is his love for education and the people behind it. They kept us intact and served as our glue 
in the tripocalized education system in the country. While others are falling apart and at a loss in finding common grounds, we in the province of Rizal have already found ours through Bruna Nacion. So we thank our late beloved Congressman Bibit and the entire Dwavit family together with the Inares family for continuously holding the torch high for all educators to take inspiration from. And as we celebrate the inspiring stories of our awardees tonight, we are privileged to have been given time by a distinguished national figure who at one point in his career has been an educator too in the hallowed halls of Macaulay. Friends, it is my honor and privilege to introduce to all of you our guest of honor and keynote speaker. Our guest of honor and speaker first came to the attention of the Filipinos when as one of the youngest members of Congress, he stood out as a charismatic, eloquent speaker with a remarkable facility with the Filipino language. He has risen to prominence when, the, when he led an impeachment bribe against then President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. His meteoric ascent to politics, politics saw him as, as a Senate seat in 2007. He was born on October 10, 1969. He is the second of the three children of the late agriculture minister and first district representative of Sorsugon, Salvador Escudero, and now Congressman Ibelina Guevara Escudero. He was educated in the public school system of the University of the Philippines from kindergarten all the way to law school, where he was a member of the debate team. After passing the Philippine Bar in 1994, he went into a practice while at the same time took on a teaching position as law professor at the UP College of Law. In 1996, he obtained a master's degree in international and comparative law of Georgetown Law Center in Washington, D.C. In 1998, he won his first election as the res representative of the first district of Sorsogon at the age of 28. He was re-elected two more times during which he served as assistant majority floor leader and house minority floor leader in 2007. He took his oath at the Senate, garnering the second highest number of votes. Once in Senate, the he made good of his mandate, engaging his endeavors that fulfill his campaign promise to be the voice of the people in the upper chamber. One of his first efforts was to gain tax exemption and additional exemption for the law earners. This law is now with what is known as RA 9504. So he also worked to increase the maximum insurance coverage to 500,000 for bank deposits. At the helm of the Justice and Human Rights Committee, he is responsible for the passage of the anti bargancy law, RA 10.158 to RA 10.353. So in the last 15 Congress, he has zero backlog in his two committees, Justice and Human Rights and Environment and Natural Resources, having heard and acted upon 
all the bills piled before vote. He was able to pass creation of additional 281 courts. Uh, he was able to pass creation of additional, what I mentioned a while ago, the 281 courts. So our keynote speaker was named one of the country's 10 outstanding young men for youth leadership in 2005. In 2007, he was the only Filipino to be named Asian News Network, Asia's Idols. He was honored as one of the world's young global leaders in 2008 by the World Economic Forum. And in 2012, he received the Rotary Golden Wheel Award in recognition of his contribution in politics, governance, and the legislative field. With the press mandate given to him in the Congress, he continues to push for extensive legislation on good governance, education, agriculture, electoral reforms, and justice and human rights. So friends, ladies and gentlemen, the Gronacion Awards is Senator Chi's priority for the day. However, the search for the next UP president was extended. It was supposed to be done at 2 p.m., but was extended due to some technicalities. If we will wait, according to his office, he might arrive late night around 9 p.m., hence we will proceed with, the, with, with his recorded video message in lieu of his personal delivery of such keynote address. Nevertheless, the good senator recognizes the heroism and greatness of our teachers, most especially tonight's finalists and awardees in this year's Grunacion Awards. Thank you. Deepest gratitude to Senator Francis Joseph Chis Guevara Escudero. The Grenadian Foundation Incorporated truly have gone a long way since its establishment. It has accomplished a lot and touched 
countless lives in its many years of operation. Of course, the Coronacion Foundation Incorporated owes its creation to the, to the magnanimous and incomparable benevolence of the late Congressman Bibit Duwabit. As such, let us take time and look back in the journey of Coronacion and its benefactor, Congressman Gilberto Bibit Duwabit. Incorporated, let us welcome the representative of the first district of Rizal, Honorable Michael John Jack R. Duavi.
sabi na ba? Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Kamusta po tayo? Medyo maluwag tayo ngayon dahil hindi pa tayo nagpo-full capacity. Nagta-transition tayo. Um, I speak to you today, actually not as your representative, but on behalf of the Guru Nation Foundation. Um, and as such, I, I would like to thank heartily Ma'am Nancy and uh, the rest of uh, and everyone else no, for putting together such a beautiful evening of which na matutuloy pa. Uh, makikita pa natin ang mas maganda mga presentations pa. Gusto ko lang batiin ang aking uh, kinakapatid, si Mayor June, ang aking kinakapatid din. At kumare ang ating bagong gobernadora, Gov. Nina Inares Chongbian. Tayo ka naman, Mare. Ang cute-cute niya, no? Kung magkatabi kami, talagang cute kami. Salamat rin pala sa nag-design nito dahil po pag pumuputok ang botones ko, natatakpan. <laughs> um, you know, today um, is a very, very special day for us um, in the foundation because sa totoo lang, the past two years, ang hirap po palang gumawa ng video message. Kaya bilib ako kay Senator Chis, ang aking kinakapatid din, na nakapag, nakapagpagawa siya ng video message na ganun lang kadali. Pero alam mo, meron akong nakita nung pumasok ko dito, nakahawig, nakahawig ni Senator Chis. Nung nag-aano tayo, nung uh, nag... Asan ka ba? Sa yung slim na slim natin na uh, teacher dyan, na pati yung suot pareho. Pwede sana natin i-proxy kanina eh. Baka walang makahalata kung nakamaskara, di ba? <laughs> okay, sige po. Um, medyo serious na. Ma'am Nancy asked me um, to give a brief history um, about uh, the Guru Nation as the foundation itself. And I think that is very timely because we have been doing Guru Nation since the late 90s and come to think of it, it is already 20, um, 22. And a lot of our educators here might have just been born when the first Guru Nation <laughs> happened. So, okay. In a nutshell, ito po ang storya ng Guru Nation. Um, before the automated counting machines, yun na lang, di ba? Um, those of us will remember, ang hirap po, no? Hindi lang yung mga, you know, it, it was very hard work. Sometimes it was dangerous work, especially in areas where the politics were not peaceful. Um, sometimes it would stretch on, sometimes up to months, ang bilangan. And at this time, um, our founders, uh, Gov. Ito and uh, Kong Bibit, said, you know, the teachers really deserve more. They work so hard. Let's, let's do something for them. Let's, let's find the best, and let's uh, give them the awards that you, our finalists, are going to receive tonight. That was the genesis. But we'd like, any, uh, we'd like with anything worthwhile, things evolve and uh, uh, improve. Um, the scope widens. Um, through the years, um, following uh, the trifocalization done by EDCOM, which has done much, for educational system. One of the few unfortunate effects of EDCOM was that the various, um, there became some sort of division in communication between those in basic education, higher education, and, and technical and vocational education. Guru Nation, as mentioned earlier by Dr. Nancy, um, gave birth to what we call PREDA, which is where we, we were able to create a venue for, for our three institutions to get together, to plan together, and to work together for the betterment of all of our students. To ensure a transition from um, elementary um, to college, or from elementary to technical and vocational. And as we've seen, we've even seen in our scholarship programs for for example, for um, paramedics, we've actually seen those go from higher education to technical. 
and product today itself has evolved into the, the capital's um, arm for its scholarship program. So Guru Nation itself has turned into a sort of a laboratory. While its primary focus is to find and, and uh, reward, incentivize, um, energize our teachers, it's also become a laboratory in the sense that we have, be, that we have now been using it to fine tune um, process flows to deliver more assistance um, and tools to our teachers. Over the years, we've seen the FASTER program, which we will be, we will be um, looking at. At FASTER was a program we did some years ago where we developed software for teachers to help them in the, with the transmutation and, and taking of um, grades, um, which saved up from 20 to 30 hours of work for the teachers. Unfortunately, this got outdated when we went to the K-12 system. So we will be coming back and uh, we will be talking to uh, our vice president in how we can revive this on a more national scale. And then there was the, our program called, um, so that was faster, and then there was Excite, which has been uh, dormant for the last two years. We would like to announce that Excite which for those of you that are new and don't know, is a program of the Guru Nation Foundation that gives computer labs um, in complete package to uh, schools that need it, apply for it first and need it most. Um, we're looking at, there have been requests now for media labs to address the needs of our students to learn in this now um, growing digital environment. And the last and the latest is what we call the Aspire program. And this is something that is very, very close to our hearts, um, the trustees' hearts, and of course, um, to all of us here, you know, uh, medyo, medyo nakakalungkot po because um, we just lost two of Guru Nation's guiding lights. Um, we lost uh, Dr. Apifianco to cancer um, just this last year. We all know who she is and you know how hard she worked. And we also lost our treasurer, my, uh, our mother, our, uh, Mrs. Vilma Ardwavit, just a few days um, after. And. Uh, the Aspire program is dedicated to them. To give a little bit of a background, my mother was born in uh, 1934 and Dr. Linda in 1941. It's a scant few years from each other. To frame this into, into perspective, um, former president, I will just paraphrase, former president of the Philippines, one of the most well-known once said, that people no longer long for their country just because they were born there. They need to feel that they can be happy in the country that they live in. They have to know that they have to, the opportunity to improve the same. This president was Manuel L. Quezon and this was his speech in support of the granting or, or uh, in support of amendments to the Constitution of the Philippines that would allow the voting of women. The referendum happened in 1937 and, the, and suffrage was granted to Filipino women soon after. So, Dr. Pifianco and my mother, born at this time, the war time, were actually on the forefront of the first wave of female educators in higher education. By, by their late 50s, in the case of my mom, 
In the er, in 1960, in the case of Dr. Pifianco, they were some of the first female professors in the country. In our selection of chiefs, one of my best friends for the past 20 years is also because his mother, Kong Ivy, his sister is now in Congress, no, she's graduated, was also a professor in, in UP. It is something that we um, care very much about. And in recognizing um, the difficulties of educators in this country, we also note that advancement in your careers is also predicated in your educational attainment. To be able to teach at a level, you have to have had a degree in a level above that. For you to go, and if you look here, oh, tignan po natin, ang ating uh, superintendents, mga doctor. No? And of course, uh, when it comes to the same sa CHED, doctors then. So the question is, what can we do? What can we do to help you in your advancements? Not only are you very, uh, um, have very high workloads, unlike um, college education, um, higher education is not free. So in honor of uh, Dr. Linda, in honor of our, uh, our mother, we now have um, scholarships for postgraduate education. But wait, it gets better. Because like I said, um, Guru Nashon is, right, is a lab, it's a laboratory. And through this process, and the uh, gov Mina is here to attest, and it's something that we agreed on and presented. She presented it to the to the provincial board, and I presented it to Guru Nashon's board, and both have given the thumbs up. That once the systems are uh, are all fixed, all hitches gone, Predak will now include um, postgraduate studies, master and graduates in the provincial scholarship program. for educators who will continue educating. Now on the part of the foundation, once this happens, we will now sh shift um, those scholarships. We will then move on to scholarships to um, institutions within the Philippines that are um, classified as centers of excellence. So we will be having, so once the transition is done, we will now open up these uh, scholarships to places like Ateneo de Manila, De La Salle University, Asian Institute of Management, and the like. So that is where Guernason is going. Now for our for our dad, it was Bibit, and he showed it, no? This is about you. This is not about us. We, it is for you because we <laughs> really, really appreciate you. Alam niyo po, um, last, last year, um, nagulat ako, men, mga nagtatext sa akin, hoy, nanalo ka ng award. Ano yun? <laughs> um, apparently, there was a na nationwide survey um, based purely on uh, job, uh, parang job satisfaction no, that, that went straight to the, that went straight to, yung mamamayan, no? sa, sa vote, di ba lang voters, talagang mamamayan. And uh, ang inyong lingkod po, apparently, was voted um, Number one in Region 4A. It's a job appreciation. Wow. <laughs> I mean, tayo naman, makayod lang. I wasn't expecting this, no? And then, I think, kasi yung kinuha nila is the top congressman from every region. Tapos, so, we ended up number eight in the whole country. 
out of 300. And but the reason I mention this <laughs> is because it is not because of me. <laughs> it is because I have I am probably the luckiest congressman out of 306 today because I am surrounded by such wonderful and productive people, you know, from Gov Nini, Mayor June, Mayor Cesar, you know, Mayor Jorik, you know, ang ganda ng team natin dito sa Rizal. Every time, every time, they always ask us, yung mga ibang congressman, bakit sa Rizal hindi magulo? Well, sabi ko, hindi ko alam. Siguro, mas matalino lang kami. <laughs> Practical kami. Marunong tayong makisama. Pero si Tutor John, siguro, yung sagot doon, dahil talagang isa, la, isa lang ang hangarin natin. Iisa. Hindi yung sarili, kundi ang kapakanan ng ating mga mamamayan today and moving forward. And if we talk about moving forward, it is you teachers who are the custodians of the future. And, you know, we have been winning award after award. Nina, parang na, for Nina, no? Every year na lang. Number one, Rizal. Eh, bakit? I believe that the reason is that we, it's not that we have the best leadership, I believe that aside from that leadership, we have the best citizenry. And we have the best citizenry because we have the best education. <laughs> so what changes have been made um, to Guru Nasan? I think later we will hear, naalala niyo yung song dati? Yung Salamat, Congressman. Tita Edith ang sumulat nun, dublada. Si Papa talaga naging ilabot. <laughs> Dahil hindi, hindi siya yung tipong um, gusto niya yung, di ba, yung ganun klaseng attention eh. Hindi yun yung personality niya. And in his, following his wishes, we will be, um, what's the term? Debut ba? We will be uh, presenting the new Guru Nation song. So as we move towards the focus being on you, our teachers, we would like to thank you once again for your service and to assure you that, not, that for generations to come, our commitment to you and your, all of your good works will never waver. And we've already got a third generation waiting in the wings to take over from us. So we're ready for that. Once again, to this wonderful, great team, now that everything has uh, settled down, I think we're coming out of the pandemic, um, maybe I would just like to say that instead of take, to help take away the, the pain of the loss of, of Boss Bibit and uh, Tita Linda and of course my mom, the two years of not being able to see them because they were you know, um, anong tawag po dun? Yung at high risk, no, sa COVID. All of this time lost, just let go of the pain, let go of the uh, hurt and sometimes even hate for the situation and just celebrate them. And we would like to celebrate them through you, if that's all right. So with that, Thank you very much. We love you all. Thank you very much, Honorable Jack Duabit, for that very inspiring message. The province of Rizal is indeed very lucky, for our province is headed by a very supportive and generous governor. To give her greetings, May we call on the mother of the province of Rizal, Honorable Nina Ricci Inares.
ho sa inyong lahat, kay Congressman Jack David and his lovely wife Margie uh, and their son Joaquin, um, to Mrs. Judy Vasquez David and uh, Rosanna and Jose, her children, uh, to Mayor Cesar in Ares, to Mayor Willie Robles, uh, sa lahat po ng mga lingkod bayan, to Mayor June, sa lahat ng lingkod bayan na naririto ngayong gabi, to all the academicians, to all the awardees, the Board of Judges, and the, uh, all the teachers, everybody here tonight, good evening po. Um, like what Congressman Jack Dovit just said, we come from a citizenry of... I would like to say, I am very proud to be a Rizaleño because I can see how Rizaleños behave and conduct themselves, how Rizaleños are educated. And I guess we can give this uh, thanks to this because of our teachers, truly. It truly is an honor and my privilege to be with all of you tonight as we recognize the cream of the crop among our beloved teachers in the province in this year's Guru Nashon. I know the last two years of the pandemic have been really tough on all of us, but really hats off to our teachers as you have been resilient, you have been creative, you have been, um, how would you say this, such geniuses in continuing to help our children or students learn and grow. You found ways and means um, in doing this in spite of the numerous challenges. When the world stopped, you didn't stop. You kept on going, you kept on trying. And I guess that's why we have such um, successful Rizaleños. I always say, lagi ko pong sinasabi, Tumingin tayo sa mga karatig lalawigan, karatig bayan, karatig syudad natin sa Rizal. Sa bawat industriya, sa bawat lugar, sa bawat departamento, there are Rizaleños excelling and um, in good places. When the truth of the matter is, if you were a businessman, it's easier for you to hire somebody who are just, you know, living nearby, but yet, they go and get Rizaleños who are approximately, who sometimes are caught up in traffic, and yet they still choose to hire Rizaleños. Why? Because of how we Rizaleños are trained, how we Rizaleños um, have persevered. And again, that's thanks to our educators, our teachers. Um, tonight, narito po tayong lahat upang kilalanin ang inyong husay at dedikasyon sa inyong sinumpaang tungkulin sa pamamagitan ng Guru Nasyon, which has been our effective and supportive partner in the growth and development of the teaching profession and providing sustained quality education to elevate the lives of each and every Rizaleño. Aminin ko po na lahat, sa ating lahat, na sa harapan nyo ngayon, I am in a bit away sentimental or nostalgic whenever it involves Guru Nasyon. Because I know that the very start of this um, foundation comes from the heart. It's not just a, a simple random thing, pero talagang may pagmamahal at pagmamalasakit. At ito ay nagagaling dahil sa ang ino-honor natin ng mga guro. Also, the service that you give comes from your heart. It's not something just from the manuals. So I guess tonight as um, we honor and once more uh, give importance to the things that you have done for us, our teachers, I would like to once more give you um, our thanks. Um, 
marapat din po nating bigyan pugay ang mga namumuno at organizers ng Guru Nasyon 2022. Mula siyempre sa Duavit family at sa kay, sa, sa kay Congressman Dibit Duavit at sa aking ama, kay Governor Ito. Sa lahat ng mga guro at sa lahat ng awardees who embody the heart and soul of true educators, tirelessly committed to the pursuit of molding today's generation, the hope of our nation. Congratulations to you, and truly, kahit saan ako pumunta, ipinagmamalaki ko dahil sa inyo na ako ay risaleño. Taas noo ang aking, taas ang aking noo. Also, may the glittering contributions of Guru Nasyon become more profound as days pass by, and may it continuously give light to the achievements of our goals for our people. And let us continue making Congressman Bibit Duavit proud. Muli, maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. God bless you all, and to God be all the glory. Thank you very much, Governor Nina Ricci Nares, for that very meaningful message. Before we proceed to the announcement of the Guru Nashon 2022 winners, let us first listen to the new Guru Nashon theme song. The new Guru Nashon theme song was composed by Dr. Leo Rio and lyrics by Dr. Marites Rio. The song was composed as a request from Honorable Jack Duavit and is a tribute to the hard-working teachers and educators in the province of Rizal. Now we will be able to hear it performed live for the first time. Son para sa bayan 
Everyone is waiting for the announcement of winners in the different categories of Guru Nation to award the winners for the Guru Nation 2022 may request the presence here in the stage of our Honorable Governor Nina Richie Nares, Honorable Congressman Michael John Jack Duavit, Guru Nation Board of Trustees Miss Rosana Maria Luisa Duavit Vasquez, and Jose Miguel Duavit Vasquez. To announce the winners from DepEd Rizal Division, may we call on the school's division superintendent of DepEd Rizal, Dr. Susan D. L. Oribiana. Good evening. The finalists for the most outstanding elementary school teacher from the school's division of Rizal are the following. Dr. Estrella A. De Hoya from Bagong Pag-asa Elementary School. Dr. Sami Boy B. Guzman, Kasiglahan Village Elementary School. Dr. Lourdes O. Manim Team from Angono Elementary School. Outstanding elementary school teacher is Dr. Lourdes O. Manim Team from Amono Elementary School. of Rizal are the following Ms. Aurea G. Bonites from San Mateo National High School Ms. Anne Michelle S. Medina from Tagumpay National High School and Mr. Jemar M. Soliano from Bugarin Integrated National High School. And the most outstanding secondary school teacher is Miss Aria Bonites from San Mateo National High School.
for the most outstanding elementary school principal are the following. Miss Corina DJ Condes from My Bangkal Elementary School. Miss Melanie J. Mesa of San Francisco Elementary School. And Miss Lynn P. Sanchez from Aldea Elementary School. of Rizal are the following. Mr. Timothy A. Bautista from Baras National High School. Miss Lindell R. David from Morong National High School. Miss Eloisa S. Tamayo of Pililia National High School. school principal is Mr. Timothy A. Bautista from Baras National High School. Outstanding elementary school teacher in Deped Antipolo are the following Dr. Julieta A. Angeles from One Sumulong Elementary School, Dr. Francis A. Gumawa, Knights of Columbus Elementary School, Mr. George C. Tabao, Kaisakat Elementary School. And the most outstanding elementary school teacher is Dr. Julieta Angeles, One Sumulong Elementary School.
congratulations. And now the finalists for the most outstanding secondary school teacher, Deped Antipolo. Mr. Paolo B. Colandog from Maximo L. Gatlabayan Memorial National High School. Ms. Jonalyn T. De La Cruz from Antipolo National High School. Ms. Marcel L. Gebilagin from Bagong Nayantu National High School. And the most outstanding secondary school teacher is Miss Jonalyn T. De La Cruz. Congratulations. And now the finalists for the most outstanding elementary school principal in DepEd Antipolo. Dr. Jody E. Bautista, Peña Francia Annex Elementary School. Mr. Rakob T. Hinalok from Risa Elementary School. And Miss Evangeline R. Kibuyan from Jesus S. Cabarus Elementary School. And the most outstanding elementary school principal is Miss Evangeline R. Kibuyan from Jesus S. Cabarus Elementary School. Congratulations. Finally, the finalists for the most outstanding secondary school principal in DepEd Antipolo. Miss Lisa L. Banayo from Antipolo City Senior High School. Maximo L. Gatlabayan Memorial National High School. Miss Rosa T. Tayamora, San Roque National High School. And the most outstanding secondary school principal is Miss Rosa T. Tayamora from San Roque National High School. Congratulations to all the winners.
the winner from Tesda Rizal. May we call on the Provincial Director of Tesda, Mr. Benhur B. Banike. Mr. Romualdo G. Lirio, Tesla Rizal, Ms. Raquel Di Manalang, Tesla Rizal, Ms. Minerva M. Villanueva, Tesla Rizal. And the most outstanding tech book trainer is Mr. Romualdo G. Lirio. Congratulations. Congratulations. And for the next set of awardees, may we call on the president of the University of Rizal System on stage, Dr. Nancy T. Pascual. To announce the winner for the most outstanding college faculty, may we call on the vice president for academic affairs of the University of Rizal System, Dr. Alan E. Codne. Good evening, everyone. The finalists for the most outstanding college faculty, Gurudashon 2022. Please welcome from URS Morong, Dr. Genesis. Oh, the hard one. From URS Pililia Campus, please welcome Dr. Jocelyn L. Gagalang. And from URS Antipolo City Campus, please welcome Dr. Norberto M. Natanya. And the most outstanding college faculty, tertiary level, Gurunasyon 2022. None other than Dr. Dr. Jocelyn L. Gagalang from URS Pililia Campus. Congratulations. Congratulations. And to announce the winner for the most outstanding academic head, may we call on the Vice President for Administration and Finance of the University of Rizal System, Dr. Renato F. De Limon. Good evening, everyone. The 
finalist for the most outstanding college academic head for tertiary level, Dr. John S. Concepcion from URS Binangonan. Dr. Julieta S. T. Pulgado from URS Pililia. Dr. Lourdes T. Tejada from URS Antipolo. And the most outstanding college academic head is Dr. John S. Concepcion. Congratulations. Congratulations to all the winners in the different categories. And our awardees are not the only winners tonight. Yes, for today we will witness the launching of the GFI Scholarship Program. And to formally lead the launching of the GFI Scholarship Program, may we call on the Chair of the Gurunashon Foundation Incorporated, Honorable Michael Jan Jack R. Duavi. Tonight was indeed a meaningful and memorable event, not only for the awardees, but for everyone who participated in this ceremony. But sadly, like all good things, we have come to the end of our program. To introduce our last speaker for this evening, may we call on Mr. Jose Miguel D. Vasquez and Ms. Rosana Duavit Vasquez, third generation of the Duavit family. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jose Miguel Duavet Vasquez, Board of Trustee, Guru Nashon Foundation, and I'm here to introduce to you my mother. She is the eldest child and only daughter of Guru Nashon founders Gilberto and Vilma Duavet. Judith is an acknowledged visionary and dubbed Godmother of the Philippine Internet by ICT Press. In the early 1990s, with Judith laid Makati City's first fiber network and challenged the convention by breaking the city's height restriction via the Peak Tower, a 45-story skyscraper home to our country's many, many firsts. Judith's vision and leadership and courage has punctuated local and international organizations. She has and continues to serve in influential business corporations for profit and none. An alumni board member of ICANN, the governance of the body of the global internet, she has shown, she owns voice of reason, influence. 
Judith has an honors degree in economics from the University of the Philippines and was recently cited one of the 100 outstanding graduates in the School of Economics 75 year history. She is donor of lecture room number five. She is an alumna of the Asian Institute of Management, donor of its first professorial chair in entrepreneurship. She is an alumna of Harvard Business School and serves Harvard University as an alumni interviewer of freshman applicants to Harvard College. Judith is largely based in Washington, D.C. She is a member of Women Leaders of Washington, D.C., the Young President's Organization Gold of Washington, D.C., Baltimore, and significantly, the Forbes Business Council of America. Ladies and gentlemen, my mother, Judith. The beauty of Brazil shines in this room. It is my distinct privilege, truly honored, to address and congratulate you, our provincial leaders, our educators, our Guru Nashan awardees. Good job, well done. <laughs> Slide one, please. Bibit Dwavit was born in 1934. In 1939, our population was 87,876. In 1970, the advent of his political service, it had ballooned to 307,328. In 1995, advent of Guru it had swelled to 1,312,484 and in 2020, 3.3 million Rizalanos. You can only imagine how that man saw from 87,000 to 3.3 million. In slide two, the 2020 COA Commission on Audit released the annual report for LGUs. The richest provin province is Cebu with three, 208 billion assets over equity with a land area of 5,342, a population of 5.1 million and a density of 964 people per square kilometer. Number two is Bitangas, with 21.8 billion in assets, a land area of 3,119 square kilometers, population of 2.9 million, and a density of 932. Number three, Wealthiest province is Rizal. Did you know that? With 20.9 billion in net assets over equity, a land area so much smaller at 1,191 square kilometers, and the population of 3.3 million, a density of 2,794 per square kilometer. The fourth, surprisingly, is Davao de Oro. 
18.7 billion, a land area of 4,479, a population of only 767,000, and a density of 171. Number five is Bukutnon, again, surprisingly, with 16 billion, a land area of 10,498 square kilometers, a population of only 1 million, 1.5 million, and a density of 147. Out of 81 provinces, Bizal ranked third wealthiest in our country, the 73rd smallest in land area, fourth largest in population, and first densest in population over land area. Out of the five wealthiest provinces, Rizal ranked the third wealthiest, the fifth smallest by far in land area, the second largest in population, and the first densest in population over land area. What is my point? My point is simple. Two things drive progress. One is the area of your land or the size of your population. So significantly, when you look at your numbers on a population per capita basis, computed as provincial wealth divided by population, Rizal trailed the five richest provinces at only 6,300 per individual. With Cebu at 40,431 per individual. This excites me. I see the opportunity. This makes me understand why my father focused on education. It is a proven global economic theory that education directly impacts income. Why do we teach to educate? Because we know someone educated has a better chance at having a better life. That's why we do what we do. And education is driving resolve forward. We have so little land. People, our citizenry, they are a proven, a proven reason for doing what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. So in slide three, the math is simple. If we are able to achieve the per capita of Cebu of 40,000 per Rizalenio, the impact to our provincial wealth and ability to deliver service is 134 billion. Seriously. And if we had Batangas's per capita of 7,515 pesos, the impact to the province would climb to 25 billion. You are on the right track. Pradak and Guru Nishan, we are on the right track. And I predict that sooner than later, 
under the leadership of our capital and multi-sectoral efforts, I believe Batangas, we will dislodge Batangas as number two. Batangas! <laughs> we got you. Now, Cebu, Batangas muna. Di tayo nagmamadali, okay? Dandan muna. And so, as my son said, I bring punctuation to any meeting, I end with a final slide. A famous Harvard study on aging conducted across thousands of multi-generational participants revealed the crucial role of relationships in our quality of life and longevity. The study concludes that relationships mean more than money, more than fame or success. Relationships, relationships, relationships bring us joy. This, here, you constitute the sum of my father's key relationships. Okay, we all really have to cry because we lost him just before COVID. Your multi-sectoral, unified, selfless efforts to uplift Rizal, our educators, our citizenry, constitute the sum of vibrant relationships that gave Bibit Dwabit a truly meaningful, purposeful, and joyful life. And on his quiet behalf, thank you. And he told me last night to tell you, Rizal, our next Chapter begins. Mabuhay, long lives. Mabuhay, a fulfilled life lived. Mabuhay and good night. very much, Miss Judith Duavid Vasquez. To cap off for tonight's festivities, let's welcome back the University Center for Culture and the Arts of the University of Rizal System for their finale performance.
sa pagpapatay Iwala sa Diyos ang sandat at kabay Subukan natin isulong at ligawan ang magandang bukas Ikaw at ako magkasama tayo sa lupungin ng kinabukas Mabuhay! Maligayang Pasko sa ating lahat!